You're watching King's Daughters Medical Center Sports Zone. Norman Seawright. Joe Fitzwater. The meteorologist. <laughs> You've got more games to go. Senior nights, a lot, all over the Tri-State, okay. because for many schools, this is the last week they play at home. Yeah. Let's continue. Scott at Winfield. That's where we're starting. First quarter, fourth and two for Scott, around their own 30. On the run, Winfield's Caden Giroux makes the tackle. That's a turnover on downs. How about it? Later, Winfield's Nicholas Vance passing. Intercepted by Scott's hmm. Connor White. Now, this would have been a nice touchdown, no matter who scored it, but large game wiped out by Holden. Ooh. Second quarter, second attempt for Winfield, 26 yards to go. Vance plays the quarterback keeper. You can call that one a touchdown. The Generals lead 7 0. There. Skyhawks then have a chance to score. First and goal on the four. Handoff fumble. Jerouge all over Ooh. it. Winfield recovers. Generals end up beating the Skyhawks. Today. 21-7. Now we're going to Sissonville. Nitro at Sissonville had to deal with the same rain that everyone else did tonight. And this was a big game for Sissonville trying to get back into the playoff picture here with a 4-4 four four record coming in. The fans were intense, or rather they were intense. See what I did there. A muddy night in Sissonville. First quarter, Sissonville inside the 10. Will Hackney, the quarterback with the keeper, as our cameras arrive. And that guy is special. We've talked about him all season. The first play we shoot, and it's a touchdown. The kick, the extra point was good. We don't usually shoot them, but this one mattered early. 7-0 Indians. Nitro mounted a very good drive though, and it's fourth and goal. Sissonville defense steps up, not only stops Nitro, but forces the turnover. Still 7-0 Sissonville. A couple of possessions later. Nitro once again with fourth down inside the 10, and this time they won't be denied on the legs of number 7 Orange Dias. Touchdown Nitro liking to go for two with a strange formation. Sissonville not buying it though. Playing it smart here, wrapping up Dias. So it was 7-6 to six and basically a fight to hang on to the ball after Oof. that. The final score, Sissonville 21, Nitro 6. A Sissonville moving closer to the playoff picture here. Love it. Now, let's talk more football in Huntington. Parkersburg at Huntington. Big matchup for both teams and a very hyped one at that. Big Reds leading 7-0 in the second quarter. Huntington wants to answer that. Diallo Mitchell gets a handoff. Big hit. Ball's out. Parkersburg's got it. The Highlanders got the ball back and drive to the six yard line. Tajon Blackwell keeps it. He's in the end zone. Extra point good. Huntington ties the game at seven. Later, second quarter, Parkersburg driving near the 40 yard line. Jake Johnson, all the time in the world. He's directing traffic. Are you <laughs> kidding me? He launches the ball down the field. There it is. Keontae Peacock makes a grab. It's another big red touchdown. Huntington blocked the kick, so it's 13 7. 28 seconds left in the first half. Second and goal, Mitchell pushes his way to the end zone. Three-yard touchdown after the extra point. Huntington, one-point lead in halftime. This game ended up in overtime, Joe. The Highlanders pull it off. Huntington takes down Parkersburg to win 27-21. to Good top-10 team there. We're taking another break. It is halftime here on our show. Know what halftime is for? Bands. We'll leave you with this week's featured band from Winfield High School.